Hi, how are you lot? Um, welcome to Thursday to a pretty grey Dennis Powys, I have to be honest. Um, it's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow, so that'll be good. Um, I don't know how long the hair is going to stay down. It's already starting to get on my nerves. Um, so uh, today we're doing a trinket box. It's a little bit of something. It's uh, a little bit of fun and um, will help you with uh, any CDs you've got lay laying around that you never listen to anymore because we've all got Spotify and stuff. Um, we, I don't know whether you've seen the reel that's gone up, um, you know, the film reel that Sarah does. Um, we've done one, uh, or Sarah's done one, with her very posh neon pink nails, um, with the new Liberty Christmas. So that's all on the website now. So uh, have, a, have a gander at that because that's, um, there's one in particular, it looks like, um, you know when you look into a tree and it's got all baubles and um, uh, toys on it and everything? I want to make a dress out of that, but that would take a lot. So don't buy that one, okay? Um, but buy all the others. So, uh, special offer today, scrap packs. There's about 10, I think. Um, Sarah was busy uh, weighing them out before we went. There's the equivalent of two metres of fabric in them. Uh, they're all different sizes, so you get like end of the bolt or um, there'll be at least a two and a half inch strip in there. So you'd be able to use it in a jelly roll quilt or for binding. Um, I don't know about you, but um, you know when you do the binding, I'm always, um, I overestimate how much binding I'm going to need on my quilt. So I keep those bits left over. Um, I've now got a box full, so I really should do something about them. But um, you can sew them all together and make a scrappy jelly roll quilt. Um, so if there's ever like a two and a half inch strip hanging around anywhere, that goes home with me and goes in my box. So who am I talking to? Oh, okay. they're a fiver. We've got Jace, we've got Maria, we've got Catherine, Marilyn, Catherine, Beck, uh, Carolyn, sorry, and... Was Hello, good. Caroline, are you still with Sarah? Sarah? Is it Sarah or Sarah? Um, because uh, she said you were watching together yesterday. Um, that's lovely that you've been able to meet up because you're Stafford and Exmouth. That's pretty dis di big distance. So, um, if you've got together, that's lush. Um, right. What am I going to do? Trinket box. Okay. Now, it, like I say, it's a little something and nothing. Uh, in the bottom is a CD. Okay, I'll show you how to do all of that. Um, and it's just a little pot for you to be putting your um, your trinkets, your jewellery. You know when you take your jewellery off at night and everything? You can put it into this. Okay? Um, I just think it's it's a little bit different isn't it so we're going to start with your circles okay right hang on a tick if i'm going to spend half my time pulling my hair out my eyes we'll do that so there you are see i look like me now um I used the Crafty, remember I had the Crafty UK, I look at this through. Remember I had, I, these are the two that I used um, on the phone charger hanging thing and I've put them somewhere and I can't find them. Um, so I'm going to have to have another look. But these go up from a uh, one inch right up to an 11 inch nested circles. Um, so I... Uh, I've bought these off Crafty UK so you can go straight to their website and buy them or um, come come to uh, us and we can order them in for you with the next order that we do. Um, it's brilliant. I didn't think I was going to use them that much. I thought that you know it was one of those things that I was going to buy and um, sporadically use. So uh, 
can't remember how much they were. I think it was £21. But Andy will let you know. If you go on their websites, Crafty UK, we use all their rulers. Um, so uh, I used these. A plate will do if you've got a plate. Now I used, I think it was, the 10 inch. Is it the 10 inch? Yeah, I used a 10 inch because you're going to, is it all right there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're going to want your circle, uh, your CD plus, I think it was two inches, or did I go up to two and a half with this one? I made this one a bit bigger. Um, where's my numbers? This is pretty good. This one goes both ways. Yeah, I've gone up to a two and a half inch away from the CD which means that I use the outside of the 10 inch circle okay um, and then what you do is you find your you cut out a oh I've started all over the place here so I've cut out a an outside fabric and an inside lining fabric out of my 10 inch circle I've worked out where the middle is and then you can place the circle from your CD into the middle of your um, circle. Now you could make this out of card, you know, um, a cereal box and choose different sizes. I mean, you can, I wouldn't suggest going that much smaller because it gets a bit tricky otherwise. Um, so draw your circle and then you're going to draw... You want eight compartments going round, okay? So you're actually on the, drawing your lines. So I just went straight through the middle and just draw them. And we're going to sew on those lines. So you're going to put your two circles wrong sides together. And we're going to sew that. Okay, any questions? I think it's because I'm hungry. I should have had a biscuit or something. No questions so far. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna sew around the circle and then down those lines. Okay. So we're gonna put in a back stitch and just follow this line round. So we've got the weekend coming up. I've got a sneak day off tomorrow there's obviously something that we arranged ages ago it's a shame I can't fit my jab in um, but um, yeah I've got a sneak day off tomorrow so that's quite that was a, a bit of a surprise because we organised it so long ago but um, I, it's quite cool right I'm going to go up this line because I'm here and you're just going to sew up these lines. Now I've just used the thread that's in the that was in the machine, um, but um, let's hold on to this. I'm going to put pull the thread through, I think, rather than get it all tangled because it's. Oh, don't use that one. Okay, pull that one through, there we go, and off we go. So I don't know what I'm going to do, it's supposed to be lovely tomorrow as well. So I'm just working my way around on this. Oh. Anything there? Um, Karen says hi, Wendy says hi. Heather says hi. Hi. It's just lovely that you're all still there. Um, we uh, have had some lovely, lovely reviews being left on um, Google and on our website. Um, feel free anytime to uh, leave a good review or a bad review if you have to, but we'd rather good ones. Um, 
but some of you write some beautiful emails um, thanking us for parcels and things and it's lovely to hear from you so we're just working our way round here now I should have been doing a back stitch on all of those and then I would have just been able to cut them off really wouldn't I silly me never mind so um makes it longer but it's tidier because I'm doing it from this side um I can keep in um in hand the um the threads because I I like I've said in the past I tend to get them all tangled and people have said about do, using a leader but I'm I don't know whether I can be bothered with that. I think I would if I was dressmaking. You'd have to really. Right, three more to go. So talk to me because, you know, Drew's going away next week. Talk to me about the holiday. Claire says hi. And hi, Claire. And mum says it's because you've got the 17th off. Well, she's got the 17th. 17th. Ah. See, we're trying to get in days every now and again. It's uh, it's good for morale, you know. Uh, right down. Up. This is a good um, method to use when you're doing. Um, Sarah's showing you how to do it when you're doing free motion, and um, also when you use doing June Taylor the uh, quilt as you go because you're going to hide your um, you're going to hide your stitches under the next piece of fabric oh, that's a lot of a lot of lines I did wonder whether I could um, do it so that I could go around the circle at the same time but I don't think I could go up and down twice I suppose um, so well, the shop has been quiet enough this morning that I've been able to do a quilt on Daphne. So that's good. So that's one out of the way. We've been so busy recently, we've just not had the chance. Right, all these pieces here, you would do a lock stitch so that you could do this with it. Now these pieces, because of time restraints, I can't tie them in you would just tie a knot and then bury the ends right if you bury the ends in between because we're going to stuff those you wouldn't see them all right but for quickness i'm just going to chop them off um uh, for burying ends i don't know whether you've ever seen the easy thread needles they're the ones where you can um click a the thread into the top rather than having to put it through a hole. Now I use them a lot when I'm burying ends on a quilt because it's just, well, it's just so easy. Just so, so easy. Uh, they should be on the website, but they're a really handy bit of your arsenal if you need to. Especially if uh, you're as bad at threading a needle as I am. So this one here, we're just going to chop. Oh, where is the end? I don't even know where the end went there. Right, okay, so we've gone this far. Really, this is, you know, not, it's not difficult at all. Now, you now have all of these, you have uh, eight little pockets. And we're just going to fill them with fluff, okay, like this. So you just go round and fill them with fluff, and I'm going to have to hope that I've brought enough fluff with me. Heather asked, um, would you use those type of needles for quilting jobs? Um, if you're 
actually going to do quilting quilting you know hand quilting no I wouldn't um, only because they don't um, sometimes they won't hold the thread very long I've started using them because they're in my pin cushion I'm not gonna have enough fluff um, because they're in my pin cushion I tend to use them uh, you can thread them like a normal normal uh, needle as well so you can um, oh, look at that I think that looks really cool um, you can thread them like a normal needle so you could quilt with them but you can get far superior quilting needles so I, I don't think there's a need right this here is a CD this also is a I think it's a nine inch nine inch let's just check that shall we no it's the inside of the nine inch I think an eight inch um, circle so I've made an eight inch circle in the same color as my lining and I've done a running stitch all the way around the outside and we're just going to pull this around and we're going to try and do it so that it's in the middle now as you can see that reaches so you could um, you could make it a bit smaller because you're not going to see it now you can see how I thread a needle oh I could open that where's that one there just pull the other one oh it's coming undone sir right if I pull that one and just tie a knot for quickness okay so we're just going to tie it right tie a knot and then you pop that in there that's not going to stay is it where's the hot glue gun when you need it see should have left it alone so that's going to fit in there anyway the only bit of sewing oh no there's quite a bit of where did i put that needle right with uh, a needle you're just going to put a running stitch around all of those little bits now you're going to have to talk to me because this is one thing that i couldn't prep i tried to prep as much as i could but i can't prep this so tell me what projects you're doing whether there's any projects you want us to cover because i had a look through my pinterest and i have to say i'm struggling a bit and i'm going to be doing an early one o'clock next week because I'm on Hachanda next week on Thursday. I've got um I've got this new bag that I've been doing. I'm in the middle of writing a pattern and you know how much I hate patterns. So um that is my newest thing. So we're taking that and the peg bags on. When you say challenge and post question mark. A what? Challenge post question. Challenge mark. post. Ooh, what are we gonna challenge? Okay, Drew, what are we gonna ask them to to chat or what are we gonna challenge them to make? So I'm just going in and out like this. What about showing us all your storage pods? Your storage, your trinket boxes, um all your makes that you keep something in so they could be um the one hour baskets that sarah's done um you know that type of thing okay or if you make this uh anything that you store things in that could be the challenge post so we'll put that up in fact by the time i'm finished you could find that Sarah's already done it because she's faster than a speeding tortoise, you know. She's like a ninja. 
a ninja in hot pink today right so we're just going around this and pulling it okay gently so that you don't break it like I did with the last one um, just pulling it in like this now we're going to cover this with a binding so um, your sewing doesn't have to be neat uh, it's going to hold it all together now you could put more stuffing in there but this was all I had with me um, you could put do it so that it comes out you know, really as you as you're sewing them sew it a little bit and then stuff it more anybody coming up any ideas for me for next week um, uh, someone said something about where is he gone just uh, interrupt me being. if you want okay i didn't want to interrupt you oh you should I um to. every year i did you watch seven b I did watch Sewing Bee. Um, it, it, I, I'm loving it. Uh, I bought. Oh, that was what I was going to do. Um, sometime was I was going to make the. You know, remember the Baker Boy hat? I bought um, the pattern off a lady called Scoos. Somebody Scoos on Etsy. I bought the pattern to make a hat so that we could do a, a little post on the one o'clocks because it just appealed to me um i'm loving all the the things they do i think it's a shame that fari doesn't get another hour because of the, some of her stuff that she's done it's just been beautiful um i also watched uh, all that glitters the the one about the jewelry I think the best man won, I have to be honest. So we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Heather says she's currently making the project wallet that she brought when Sarah was on uh, a chanda last. Oh yes, I I had uh, two of the samples um, and I love using those. I had the rainbow one and the orange one because rainbow is my favorite color as we know right okay so we've got to the end so i'm just going to try and move it along without breaking the thread again i mean i don't know whether doing something like this oh sorry no, that's fine. um whether it's better to use like button thread you know really strong thread i've got some that's I had from my mother-in-law's uh, collection. So. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going a little bit mad here now. Because you don't want it too small, do you? Sorry, I was getting a bit carried away there. <laughs> Mass make it all crinkly. Okay, so we're going to continue now I've done that bit I'm going to continue into there and pull that I think once it's um tethered we can uh... okay any other ideas for me um that's what's going on these comments do Keep flicking right to the top every time I touch it. Where's it gone? Um, Karen said the sewing tool storage with a mug is quite nice, to, wait, quite cute to make. Oh, I've seen those, yes. Yes, they are. Um, I also like the pin cushions made with a teacup. Um, I've done a couple of those. I did one with. Um, a teapot so it there we go now that would be flatter if I hadn't have broken the um, broken the, the thread underneath 
that would sit flatter like that okay but at the moment it's a little bit wrinkly because it's just all coming undone okay next bit move the wrong bit next bit is your binding okay now i've made it as normal binding uh bias binding so i've done it so that it folds in to the middle and then folds again because then i know that when it's on it's going to be pretty similar you know pretty um level but you could do it as a um single fold and then go around with the machine and then turn it and sew it in but this one we're going to do it we're going to do it as a running stitch right we're going to fold one end in like that i'm going to fold the one end over like that well i would have if i'd have plugged it in <laughs> Right, sir. <laughs> yeah, it just, it just, the chair just went from under me. You wouldn't believe how many times I end up on the floor at home because I've been down to pick something out and the wheels on the chair just go bloop and I'm on the floor. Right, what am I doing? I've gone all unnecessary now. Um, the idea is I've folded all that, fold the end over in a little hem and then iron it. I'm not going to put my hand on the iron this time. Iron it down. There. Okay. Which gives you a hem for when you get to... I can tuck it under. Like that. Roughly. This is why I don't do it like this. I'm really rubbish at it. Okay. So we're going to put this on here. Now, the other one, I actually did a, an invisible stitch okay um i did a proper quilting hem stitch and hidden it but because i'm gonna have to take some of it apart if i want to keep it i don't know whether i do um i'm gonna hide my knot underneath my fabric leave a bit okay so we're gonna tuck the other one underneath I'm going to put that through there so it buries the knot. Now we're going to get rid of all of this here. Okay. Is that Josh working on the um, no. on the wood? I don't think so. It sounds like somebody's doing outdoor work, man work. I don't know if you want to write it, Josh. So I'm just going to go through so that we can get it on all right uh, mum said forgot as say uh, um so i thought to what's going on uh mum says uh thought to ask say uh, to ask you all would you be able uh, would anyone be willing to make some samples slash patterns uh test for us Drop us a message on Facebook. If Ooh, you would. yeah. So if you'd like to do any uh, patterns, we've got some appliques that need doing. Um, if anybody wants to have a go at, you know, trying out some of our patterns um, and doing samples to go on uh, the craft store, then please do let us know. Uh, we've got a little army, but we need a bigger army. So, um, and we don't like to ask the same people all the time because you don't want to, you know, I was going to use, use the P word then. You don't want to uh, overuse your um, favour thing. Sorry, I'm sewing I'm towards right. me. Your mother's much better at sewing away. Right, I'm just doing little stitches just so that it holds it down um, i'm sure you all could do this a lot tidier 
I actually did a salad today for lunch. I'm feeling quite virtuous about it. I'm hoping that it's going to fill me up as much as a cheese sandwich. I did tuna. Not that anybody needs to know that, but it's I'm I'm delighted when I find things that I can eat these days. I like tuna as well. I found vegan mayo. Mm. Because it's not got eggs in it. Yeah. It's not smelly to me at the moment. I'm hoping it can't last much longer. Anyway, right. Anything else there? Because I don't know about anybody else, but I'm boring myself. Um, Mum said red work as well. Um, oh, yes. Yes, there's a um, some red work to do. Everybody likes a bit of red work. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you get the picture. This could take ages otherwise. So you just put in a little frill around it. So now we're going to make a lid. There you go. So you've got another, um, what did I say it was? Eight Nine inch. inch. Eight, eight inch. inch. Another eight inch. Oh, I'll find some fluff. Um, another eight inch circle. Um, I'll try not to muck this one up. Where are we? Maria says, just check into you close for lunch. No, we don't close for lunch. Um, Sarah is there at the moment, uh, but we do close at four. We had, oh, I think I've made this one a bit big, but this now closes. Okay, we're going to hide that bit there. Where did I put my, oh, I left it in there, didn't I? You are. The needle. I left it in there okay so we're going to thread the needle I'm not going to be, try and be clever this time you're watching me thread the needle mm -hmm. okay <laughs> it's probably the hardest thing the sewer has to do. That's a weird, really weird word as well. Sewer. Looks like sewer. Call it a sewist. I can't do this. Talk to me, Drew. Uh, Maria said thanks for answering a question, but that's okay. That's okay. We will await your arrival. Um, right. So, I've done that. Yeah, finally got that. I'm going to put a lock stitch in there and hope that it all stays together. And I've got a covered button. Okay, so it's just one of those plastic ones. I found it in my uh, button box, which I think everybody's got a button box. And I'm just going to sew this on here. Okay, so we're going to go in there. See, it's a really simple project. It's something that you could actually do with um, kids. I'm sure you could um, change some of the sewing to do this. Now, the shank button is probably not the best button to choose in hindsight because you can't go through it because of the sorry Drew okay. oh I, I suppose I could couldn't I I could go straight through so I'm trying to pick up some of the fabric and then push it through this tiny tiny little hole so any other ideas there Mm, no. Nope. No. Nope. Well, if you lot can't come up with ideas. Well, I've missed them, but I don't think so. No. Oh. That's all right. I'm sure your mother will have uh, made a note by now. Okay. So, you're going to sew that button on a lot better than that. And you have. 
a lid. Ta-da! So you just pretend all that's together. There. It's a little bit of nonsense. So you have your, and you could make those in lots of little things. And they look a bit like the, um, uh, I don't know what they call the Indian pots, don't they? Yeah, the Indian pots or the little glass pots that my grandmother, both grandmothers used to have on their dressing table full of, you know, you used to get one with a powder, with a powder puff and everything. So it's a use for your um, CDs. It's either that or you string them up and make a mobile. Oh, we could make a mobile. Maybe not with CDs. Maybe that's what we'll do. Come up with something and I'll make you a mobile to go in the wind. Um, so, yes. So there's your, your CD trinket box. Now, I can feel my tummy grumbling. And um, I'm off to uh, finish off that quilt. Cut it down. Um, and I will see you next week. And hopefully somebody's come up with this wonderful idea that we can pinch for next week. Have a wonderful weekend and um buy the scrap packs if there's any left there's only 10 so we'll see you next week ta-da bye bye